Hey, how's it going? I'm Ira Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so what am I going to talk about this week? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really don't have a plan for what I want to talk about this week, not really. Haven't really had much of a plan the last couple of weeks for what I'm gonna talk about, so <laughs> it's just how it goes sometimes, I guess. Um so uh been burning a lot of incense recently. <laughs> I know it's a totally random topic to kind of shift onto. Um but yeah, I'm I'm an incense burner. I quite like burning incense. Not like all the time. I'll sort of go through phases with it where I'll burn loads for a while and then not burn any for a while. Um, but I've been burning a lot of incense recently. Uh, I don't know. It's it's one of those things where because I'm, I'm not one of those who's really good at picking out all like the nice subtle scents of the incense once they're burning. I can smell like I'll smell the incense like before I start burning them, but not necessarily like once they start burning. I can't always differentiate between them. There are a few that I know I definitely can, um, and I've I've noticed recently I'm getting better at it. Um, but it's not one of those things that I I always sort of necessarily notice the difference of. Um, definitely something that I, I got into because of, um, I want to say specifically because of my mum, but I get the feeling my dad was sort of an incense burner as well. I don't remember when they sort of ended our household, um, though I get the feeling it was before my parents separated, so probably something that is like combined from both of my parents um, rather than from just my mum. Although I do associate it more with my mum, even though I know that my dad uh, does actually burn them too. So <laughs> it's one of those weird sort of situations. Um, my, I, I mean, I, I get this is like a really weird topic of conversation for today. <laughs> it's a very weird topic of conversation for today, but um, I might have like a few interesting stories about it here and there. Um, so the the first incense holder and incense that I really had because I because I've always had problems with sleeping. This is something that I've had since childhood. So in my teens, um, I have a feeling it was a gift from mom, um, but it was like this incense holder where you had like these spiral incense, like a lavender lavender incense uh, that was supposed to help with sleep. So that was kind of like my first incense holder. Um, and that's <laughs> it's about as effective as anything is with helping you sleep by going to sleep. <laughs> um, so that was like my first um, incense holder, my first uh, sort of incense. Um, then it's sort of it's one it's been one of those things where. Like when, when you're a student living in a student house or in, in the university student accommodations, which is what I did my first year of university, I wasn't really supposed to be burning incense in there. I think I did like, like a, a few times where like the windows open because, you know, other people living in the house were getting away with other things. <laughs> other much worse things than burning a couple of incense. Um, I didn't burn them much when I was a lodger because uh, I was a lodger for my, my second and third year at university. Um, so what kind of happened, and again, this is like random story time, um, but what kind of happened there was during my first year at university, um, I was part of the LGBTQ group um, that, they, they, that they had. Um, and I met a couple of friends um, who were not Jade. <laughs> Jade. Jade's the only friend that I met at university, which I've, I've kind of maintained a friendship with. Um, but yeah, I met met a, uh, a couple of people who I, I got on quite well with, and we were sort of like this little trio, and they both, like, we were talking about getting a house together uh, when we went into the second year, but they both dropped out before the, before the end of the first year, so I was left in a situation where 
I didn't know who I was going to be living with, so I sort of implied um, through the university thing to find like a house I needed um, an extra person to fill a space because that's you know, one of the things the university would sort of help people with because obviously not everybody is necessarily the overly sociable type or houses don't necessarily break into nice neat numbers uh, for certain groups or you know people fall out with other people so they did have this um, this sort of site to, to sort of help you uh, find somewhere. Um, I, it did initially put me into contact with somebody who was in one of the lectures that I was in and so it was somebody I was sort of aware of and I sort of got on with um, and we sort of looked at a couple of places together that had sort of like two rooms going um, to sort of fill up the spaces in the house. But she eventually got in with some of, some of the friends of hers and actually, you know, good good for her, found an actual house to live in. One of the places I kind of looked um, through, uh, the, the landlady also had a lodging place, um, which I also took a tour of and... You know, <laughs> I wasn't going to argue with that, um, but because you know I was I was a lodger and the, it, you know there, there were a few sort of like spaces I sort of shared with uh, with the landlady. I didn't really want to be burning lots of incense um, and and stuff like that. So again, at university, I, I didn't burn them as much as I would have liked whilst I was in university. I did burn them quite a bit when I was at home. Um, but they'd always go home for the holidays and stuff. Um, and then renting. Mm. Renting is a difficult one. Um, I have uh, been a lot more sparing whilst I've been a renter uh, for Burning Incense because obviously it can linger and it can give a very sort of smoky smell, um, which kind of, you know, to, to anybody who can't talk, di differentiate the nice subtle smells from the from the from the ash and stuff, um, might misinterpret. I mean, I'm I'm not a smoker. I've never been a smoker. Um, but obviously, incense does sort of linger in, in materials and stuff for for quite a while. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I wasn't burning it a whole lot whilst I was renting. I would like occasionally. It might be like. Once every few months, I might burn one or two just because, you know, I, I do actually quite like them. Um, and then I, I wouldn't for a while. Um, when I was living with the ex, I don't think I burned any whilst I was living with the ex. Um, I, don't, I don't, just don't think I really thought about it, to be honest. Um, yeah, I just, I, uh, what did I burn a few? No, I, I, I think I, I think I didn't. I think I sort of very much avoided um, burning them whilst I was with the ex for no particular reason. Um, have to admit, I wasn't overly fond of the flat that we were living in um, anyway. And it was the first time we were with like an agency, a letting agent rather than dealing directly with the landlord, which was kind of a bit of a nightmare anyway. Uh, the worst experience I've had, has ever like the worst ex renting experience I've ever had has been there it was a horrible experience they would make us renew our contract every six months which came with a fee every six months which like and our rent would go up every six months you know it was ridiculous I, I really did not like that situation at all I wasn't a huge fan of I mean it was a nice it was a nice enough flat um, but it wasn't ventilated, it was high ceilings and it wasn't ventilated properly, so we got a lot of damp, um, a lot of mould, which, you know, isn't particularly great for your health anyway, so well, it's one of my least favourite places that I've ever lived. Um, probably why I didn't burn any incense. Like, burning incense is something that you do when you feel like you're at home, <laughs> not something you do when you feel like you're not at home. Um, and the last last place I rented, so the place that I was renting before I came here, so where I started filming all these vlogs, um, so my location for like the early vlogs on this channel, um, the landlord was was so nice, such a nice guy. Um, I mean, again, I wasn't burning like loads and loads of them, 
but I didn't worry about burning them when I was. Um, I mostly did it in the kitchen where there were no fabrics that were really going to sort of absorb the smells. Um, but you know, I, I didn't worry about it at all. Um, they were actually quite nice. I had like my incense things on my bookshelf. Um, and they're actually a little like smoke marks. <laughs> There are little smoke marks on some parts of the bookshelf um, from where I've been burning incense on there, which is why um, neither of my incense holders, my current incense holders, are anywhere um, where that's necessarily going to happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that again, those like the whole vibe of that flat just was really nice for for burning incense in anyway. Um, yeah, I, I think that's one of my favourite I mean, it was like a really weird sort of setup, but it's definitely been one of my favourite, like, one of my favourite places that I've rented. Um, I think that's partly to do with the fact that I, it was something I chose for myself more than anything else. Um, everywhere else has kind of just been, this location has sort of been forced upon me for whatever reason. Um, I say that, I say that like, and it's not quite been like that, um, but it's not necessarily an exaggeration to say it like that either. Um, so my first flat, um, my mum's found for me, um, we'd seen like one other place together and then they, we saw this place and because I wasn't working at the time, um, it was somewhere that would take you in, you know, on, um, benefits and stuff so and and I was you know having to move out of home <laughs> for for reasons um so yeah I didn't I mean it was it was nice but it wasn't necessarily something that I'd pick for myself but I'm I'm one of these people I'm very I, I don't know if you notice this but I've got this very kind of ambivalent attitude towards most things um you know, as long as I've got a roof over my head, I don't care what the roof looks like. As long as I've got clothes that I can wear, I don't care what the clothes look like. Um, I, I've got this, this kind of attitude towards most things where if I don't have a strong opinion one way or another, then uh, I'm just kind of like, I, I don't really care, whatever. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's one of the reasons why I, t I end up talking quite a lot about writing on this channel, because it's one of those few things that I am very, very passionate about, um, and I definitely have, definitely have opinions, especially when it comes to my own writing. It's something that genuinely gets me excited. Um, it's one of the reasons why I'll sometimes just fan about stuff, because, <laughs> um, because again, it, you know, the, the things I genuinely enjoy and, and genuinely like, I do get very excited when I do talk quite a bit about. Um, um, but most things I just don't have very strong opinions about, or I don't really know where, where my opinions are. So if somebody else is like, oh no, I really like this, then, you know, that, that kind of makes a, that kind of makes a difference. And I'll, I'll kind of go with, you know, especially if I'm moving in with somebody. So when I left that particular house, uh, that particular flat, the first flat that I was renting, um, and moved in with somebody I thought was a friend, um, it was very much her choice um, as to as to where we ended up because it was what she really liked. Um, oh, that was such it was. That was a whole that was a whole can of worms. That was a whole can of worms. Um, when that all fell apart, um, I did go into a house share so I just had a room and again it was one of those things that my mum helped me find um so I just kind of ended up there I couldn't wait to leave there um the flat that I moved into with the ex it was where he wanted um very much where he wanted it, it was a place that excited him so again I was just like okay fine um so, so the, the last flat that I sort of lived in before buying and before coming here, it's the first time that I've really picked somewhere for myself. So even though it was kind of a quirky place, even though it was a very unusual setup, 
it's one of it's one of the favorite places that I have rented over the years. Um, just because I picked it myself, so all those little quirks and all those little unusual things, you know, that's kind of what made it feel like it was my place. Um, so even though a lot of other people <laughs> probably weren't as fond of it as I was, you know, I, I, I liked it. I really liked it. It's, as I said, it's the fav- of, of all the places that I've rented, it was my favourite because partly because I picked it myself, partly because it was quirky and a little bit unusual and partly because, you know, it, it's something about it just felt very me-like, even though I'm not entirely sure what that means half the time. Um, likewise... Likewise, this place. Um, so even though, even though my mum wasn't necessarily too keen on it, and was sort of talking me out of it um, after we saw it for the first time, it was my favourite of all the places that I'd seen up up to that point. It was my favourite. In fact, even after, it still remained my favourite. It was. I don't know, there was something about this place that just felt right um, for what I needed from a place, um, from what I wanted from a location. And okay, I still need to put a lot more of my personality into this place. Um, I've been a little bit slow at, you know, putting up various bits and pieces. It's like I've got, <laughs> I've got some like Egyptian papyrus pictures that I need to get framed and put up. Um, I just haven't managed to get around to it yet. <laughs> but it, 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 there, there's a lot about this place that just feels right. It feels like home. Um, so I've begun burning a lot of incense. And, and again, I know this is sort of like a very odd, roundabout, weird sort of topic to be talking about. But to me, there's something about incense which feels homely it feels like you're putting your roots down and you are declaring that this is the place that you are and you're you know trying to infuse it with positive energy you're trying to infuse it with um I I don't know I don't know you're just trying to make it feel like the space you're in is connected to who you are and, and how you're feeling and I I don't think there's anything better that you can use for that an incense, um, and you know, I'm not necessarily a spiritual person in the traditional ways that you can be a spiritual person, but you know, I, there are definitely things I do believe in that sort of are inclined towards more spiritualist beliefs. So, I'm not necessarily burning incense purely for that reason, um, as they're just nice anyway. I love watching the smoke. I do. It's like my my incense box is like somewhere where I can't see it. So although I I will sometimes use it, I prefer using like I'm, I'm just literally sticking them in the thing. But I need to get more incense holders. That's what I need to do. I, I know I need to do that. Um, it's like I like watch. Like there's no point in burning the incense if you can't watch the smoke because that's like the best bit. <laughs> you can't like watch all the movements of the smoke um and anybody sort of like uh seen any of the things that i put onto instagram recently will see that i've done like a few things with with the book covers with the incense smoke i just love i just love the movement of it i just love the way it kind of looks and catches in the light um so i've been burning them on my windowsill and then with ash all over my windowsill <laughs> probably need to do something about that um like get some actual uh, incense holders <laughs> um but yeah no it's yeah it's as i said it's it's sort of like a weird sort of topic to sort of connect like the places that i've lived with you know incense burning and how i felt about incense burning um but i you know there to me there is sort of a correlation there um I tend to burn more incense when I'm feeling relaxed and when I'm feeling like I'm, you know, safe and comfortable and at home. Whereas if I'm feeling more stressed out, I'm less likely to burn them because I'm I'm probably not thinking about you know those kind of things. Um, so yeah, 
yeah, it's it's a good sign that I'm burning lots of incense. <laughs> I don't know. Don't don't question it. Don't think too much about it. I I know it's like a really weird topic for the day, but I've somehow managed to spend almost twenty minutes talking about it. So <laughs> hopefully there is something interesting here. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, I I need to because as, and this is this is like touching on what I sort of mentioned last week. There are lots of things going on in my brain space at the moment, and they're not necessarily logical, makey sensey type things. Um, which is why previously I'd just been defaulting to talking about my writing quite a lot. Um, because it was just like easier to sort of just go in that direction than to sort of have to work out what I want to be talking about right now. Um, so I think, again, this is one of those days where I've, I've gone for something that's a little bit more bizarre, but I've gone for it because it feels like, I don't want to say it feels like a safe topic. Um, it's more because it's something I've been thinking, it's more because I got a load of incense yesterday. Like I found this really good deal on Amazon and, and got like, I think it's like 15 different packs, maybe more, of just randomly sorted incense. Because um, I'm, not, I'm not very good at like making decisions. And incense can be quite expensive, but it was like a really good, really good deal for like the, the amount that I've got. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it's just a little bit on my mind at the moment more than anything else. <laughs> and I will always go with whatever is in the front of my brain. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so... I hope you guys found this sort of interesting, if for no other reason than learning a little bit about, you know, my lifestyle over the last 10 years or so, maybe a bit longer, um, certainly longer if you count the university stuff. Um, I hope you're interested to find out what I'm going to be talking about next time. I know I'm certainly interested to see what I'm going to be talking about next time. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. See ya. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!